Here on my website, I have a list of integrations for my product, Peachy. Not a real product. But not all of these integrations need their own page with full content. We want to be able to toggle some of these CMS items to be hidden, both from our website and also from Google. Now this workflow is actually super handy. I might want to do it to team members if only some of them have their own author page, or even a list of features where only some of them have more detail. So today we're going to set up our CMS collection to be able to show or hide different CMS items within that collection. So we're going to add a drop down to our CMS to be able to hide or allow these items, add some code to the collection template, and then show or hide the whole page content, and then making sure there were only page links to the CMS items that we want visible. This should be a super helpful one to know, so let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is update our CMS collection. I'm going to go into my integrations, I can see all of them here, and I'm just going to hit settings so that we can add a visibility drop down. I'm going to go add fields, and we're going to add an option. This is going to be our visibility, and our options are going to be all, and then no index. Uh, it's going to become clear while we're using these two options in just a second. So I'm going to save this for now and then save my collection and I'll go through and just change some of these. So here our visibility is no index because it doesn't have that full info. Whereas for this one, uh, we do have that more content. So we do want it to generate its own page. Let me do a couple more just so we have that set up. And Zapier, we will go all. So now that we've done some of our integrations, let's add some custom code to the page itself to say whether it should be shown or not. I'm just gonna go into my collection settings, scroll down to the custom code, and in the head, I'm going to add meta. Name is going to equal robots. And then the content is going to be the visibility that we just set up. So this is all of the custom code that I need for my page. And then in content, I'm just going to add the visibility. So that's what we need for the page code itself to be able to, to tell Google whether we want them to find this page or not to find this page. Next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna go into this integrations CMS page and I'm gonna click on the wrapper. We're basically going to say, we're gonna give a conditional visibility to say whether we want all of the content of this page to be shown or not. So visibility is uh, going to be shown when the option equals all. So for pages where we don't want it to be shown, it's not gonna show anything. And then for pages where we do want it to be shown, it's gonna show that page. So that is all well and done for the page itself. Now we're just gonna go back to our all integrations page because we're currently still linking to all of these pages, even the empty ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on one of these buttons. I'm just gonna add the same conditional visibility that we just added. So if visibility equals all, then we do want that element to be shown. If it doesn't, then we can hide that element. So now we're only linking to pages where we do actually have the full page content Otherwise, we're not linking to those pages at all. And so that's all we need to do. We've set up our visibility within the CMS collection. We've added some custom code to the page itself right here. And we've changed a couple of elements so that it's not showing the page content if the page should be hidden. So that's everything we need to do to hide individual CMS items within a CMS collection. So if you found this helpful, then feel free to leave a comment. But otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.